So I'm in my basement and some people might wonder how I do my guinea pig laundry. Well, I got my washer right here, the dryer's right beside it, and I actually have a load of pig laundry to do. So let's get it set up. What I first do, I don't smash my fingers usually. So all my presettings are already done. I've got it set to large load, normal speed. I have the hot cold setting only because my hot water actually does not work with this machine. I got to get it fixed still, but I got to wait a little bit until springtime for maintenance to come do that. I have it set to second rinse. Don't know if that part actually works. And then I usually will take my dial. I set it to either super or extra and I let the water run first. I will then take my washing detergent, which is usually the clear and dye free. I fill up my little measuring cup with it. And I usually put about this much in the machine. And then I kind of just rinse the little cup out a little bit, not to clean the cup, but to more get the soapy suds within the machine itself. I have this theory in my mind that if I don't see the soapy suds and the bubbles forming, then it's not going to actually clean. But that is not accurate. That's just... That's me admitting that I am a bizarre person. <laughs> so I've got my well, detergent in. I now have the pure white vinegar, which I use in substitution of the fabric softener. And I usually fill it up about this much. I'm sure you can see where the liquid is. And then I just pour it in the same spot that the fabric softener would normally go. That's all set. And now I put my pig laundry in the machine. However, I don't put it in all within the bag because it's not going to clean properly. I usually make sure everything's already shaken out ahead of time so that I can just directly put my pig laundry in the machine. Sometimes you still get a little bit of excess hay or poops that are in the machine and you know what, at the end of the cycle when I transfer it to the dryer, I usually just give a quick wipe out on the machine so that when I go to do my actual laundry, I usually have a washing machine cleaner. I use that in a cycle and then I'll do my own laundry. So the one piece of advice I could give you when doing pig laundry is do not put big liners in when you're doing smaller pee pads. You want to do those as a completely separate load. <clears throat> this way, when you do your big liners, if you can ensure that they're getting thoroughly cleaned and properly because your smaller pee pads is what gets the highest traffic of pee and poop. And if you wash it together with your big liners, something's bound to not get clean thoroughly. So I'm just doing all the smaller liners first because that way I've got them ready to go for tomorrow when I switch up all the little pee pads. And then sometimes when I know that my laundry bag itself is kind of dirty or might smell a pee, I'll just toss it in with the wash itself. And that is how I do my pig laundry. If you have any questions, comment down below and I will do my best to answer them. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye!